Welcome to the very last episode of Dogs With Every Gun Show. This is the finale, and I'm just wrapping up the odds and ends of the guns that I haven't shown yet. And wow, guys, I can't believe we are all the way here from the very first episode when I displayed the snipers. We've really come a long way, and I'm very impressed with the growth of my channel thus far. And also, guys, stick around, because at the end of the video, I will discuss how you, the viewer, can contribute to this project in a very special way. Alright, the intro is done with. Let the finale commence. All right, kicking things off, we're talking about the HK-21. This gun is available at the start of the game as early as level 2 as part of a default class. And as with all LMGs, this gun will make you feel slow and lethargic. Aiming down sight seems to take forever, especially after sprinting. It is really bad. Because the mobility of this gun is so bad, I would never recommend you run and gun with this weapon. Instead, it's always better to sit back and mow people down from far away because this gun has very good damage. The HK-21 will always be a 3-hit kill, even from the top of the radio tower in array all the way to the satellite dish. It will be a 3-HKO. Also, besides low mobility, another glaring weakness of the HK-21 is that it only has 30 rounds in its magazine. You would think that it would have more considering it is an LMG, but no, it has the same amount as a standard assault rifle, and by then, you probably would just pick the assault rifle because it has better mobility, ADS time, reload time, and so on. So for the HK-21, I always recommend you use something that the assault rifles can't, which is extended mags, and extended mags that's just not 1.5 rounds, but times 2 rounds. Instead of 30 rounds, you will get 60 rounds. And it's always good to have more rounds with the LMGs because you can spray more. And coupled with the hardened perk, you can get a lot of easy wall bangs against people who are hiding behind walls and windows and such things like that. And it'll be good because you won't have to reload all the time because you have a lot of ammunition to spare. I wouldn't bother with any other attachment for the AHK-21 because besides the extended mags attachment, all the other ones are iron sight replacements, and the iron sights are pretty manageable, so there is no need for a red dot sight, reflex sight, or ACOG sight, and I would laugh at you hysterically if I ever saw you trying to snipe with the AHK-21 using the infrared scope. So that's my little spiel on the HK-21. In my opinion, the HK-21 is just okay. There are a lot better LMGs to be unlocked later in the game, but if you've just prestiged or something, you know, you're stuck in the early levels of the game and wanted to use an LMG, you want to spray a lot, use the HK-21 extended mags, you will do pretty well. Very similar to the HK-21, we have its brother, the RBK, and this one is unlocked as early as level 6. And the reason I say the RBK is the brother of the HK-21 is that they both have similar stats, same mobility, you know, same damage, so they're pretty much the same gun. But the good thing about the RPK is that it has 40 rounds to start, right, while the HK-21 only has 30 rounds. And when you put extended mags on, the, the RPK actually gets 80 rounds. So that's a lot more than the HK-21. You might make an argument about recoil. Maybe the HK-21 has a little less recoil than the RPK, but it's all up to preference. It really doesn't matter that much. And also, too, the RPK, I think, has better sights because they're a lot more open, and it has kind of a precision sight, that little U-shaped uh, and the little post in the middle. I think that helps a lot when trying to aim, and some people don't like it, but I do. I just like it for the fact that it's more open than the HK-21. And so I really don't have much to say about the RPK other than that because it is very similar to the HK-21. So I'm going to talk about maybe applications right now of how I'm using the RPK. And I'm using it basically basically just to patrol this middle part, the array, the middle part of the level, the very important part, especially in domination because it's very easy to defend flags and it's a very integral part of the map. And also too, I can sh I'm showing you guys, it's very easy to take out a lot of people at once because you don't have to reload constantly. You can kill like almost everybody, even if like 20 guys or something rush in the middle of the array, you can easily take them out in that center room. And also, too, you know, peeking out the window, very easy because of the RP RPK is very good damage. It is very easy to kill people from far away. And so I'm lucky to get the dogs at the very last second when that guy naded me. And that's the RPK for you. It has a little bit more of an advantage than the HK-21 because of its larger magazine. Ooh, now we have an interesting weapon. It's the ballistic knife. Now I have a little disclaimer here in the beginning of this video and it's that I technically use a grenade for one of my kills. I actually use the tomahawk, but really guys, people do it all the time. They play knife only, you know, quote knife only, only use me blade style and try to humiliate people with tomahawks. So I'm like, what the heck, if other people are going to do it, I'm going to do it too. Now for the ballistic knife, it isn't really a competitive weapon. It's hard to use and it has a really weird firing arc when you fire it, but people use it more as a humiliation tool and a montage clip tool 
rather than a competitive tool because you know in domination a lot of people know a lot of lineups where they go into a corner or something they look up and then they fire their ballistic knife or they throw their tomahawk and then they can get the first blood of the game and it is really cool when you get the first blood in the game with the ballistic knife or the tomahawk from very far away but for regular knifing i absolutely hate the knife in this game mainly because it is a one hit kill and with all the panic knifing in the game it can it can get really bad this is a classic call of duty scenario that i'm going to say to you guys right now you know you're running down a hall and there's an enemy at the corner he turns around the corner and then he sees you but what is the first thing you know that comes to his mind he knifes you so you know on your screen you're shooting him like a couple times maybe three or four bullets you think you got him but then no bang he knifes you that's everybody's first instinct is to knife 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 and that really gets on my nerves i really hope in modern warfare 3 infinity war can make changes to the knifing just optimize it just please you know don't make it a one-hit kill it really does get annoying sometimes and that's it for the ballistic knife but i have a special clip at the end because i want to show you something kind of funny if you remember in my smg little mags video i had the uzi and what happened at the end with the uzi well check this out i'm trying to knife this guy but i'm failing miserably can't even get him and then oh team killed i got bit in the butt by my own dog that hurts Oh well guys, that's a ballistic knife for you. Go out there knife only and humiliate the hell out of people. And that's it for Dogs With Every Gun Show guys. There is nothing more for me to show you. It is done and over with. And wow, this series has been on my channel for quite a long time. And I remember the first episode very long ago. And how much my channel has grown and changed. And how much I've grown and changed. And I just want to thank each individual viewer, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for your guys' support. I wouldn't be here right now where I am without you guys. And right here, I'm trying to do dogs with the crossbow. It is really hard, but I fail miserably. I fail miserably at the end. Well, technically, I really don't have to get dogs with the crossbow because this is not dogs with every special weapon show. This is dogs with every gun show. So that's my little cop out right there, if you will. It's just, you know, ah, kind of funny. It's actually a good thing that I didn't get dogs with the crossbow because right now this is your guys' opportunity. This is the viewer's opportunity to share the wealth and to be featured on my channel. This is how it's going to go down. You guys, I have seven scenarios that I want you guys to get dogs in. You guys are going to get the dogs on the way I tell you to. You're going to get the gameplay. You're going to upload it. If I like what I see, I'm going to download the video and edit everything into one video, the viewer show, and then upload that final episode onto YouTube of you guys instead of me. You guys are going to be getting the dogs. And here are the seven scenarios in which you guys are going to get dogs. Just remember, guys, um, pretty much I want you guys to get all the kills with whatever I'm going to tell you because that's the unique thing of my show. I get the dogs with only, you know, with only the gun that's being showing right now. No knifing, no no grenades, nothing like that. Just, you know, a little reminder for you guys. Um, the first one is going to be this. Dogs with the master key. Honestly, I actually forgot about the master key. I know it's a shotgun, but I was thinking in terms of guns and not attachments. I forgot that the master key is a lethal attachment. So I want somebody out there to get dogs with the master key for me, okay? The next one is dogs in litter bug style. If you don't know what litter bug is, it's basically you go around, you kill somebody, then you pick up their weapon, then you find another opponent, you kill them, then you pick up their weapon, and so on and so on until you get dogs. It's basically killing people and picking up their weapon. I want somebody to do that for me as well, okay? Third one is dogs with the suppressed sniper. This is going to be kind of hard because suppressed sniping really does suck with a damage reduction. But I know there are up and coming snipers out there that can do this for me. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this suppressed sniper one, okay? Next one, the fourth one is dogs with an LMG using the infrared scope. This, I think, is going to be hard because the LMGs have a, kind of a lot of recoil and the IR is not really good with the LMGs anyway. Again, somebody please do this for me. The next one is not really dogs, it's just a triple feed with the rocket launcher. Any rocket launcher is fine because I realize that there is no rocket launcher. I haven't shown them. It really is hard to get dogs with the rocket launcher because I'm not about to go, you know, go into free for all and, or something and get like a six man feed twice. I mean, I mean, that'll be like a really crazy montage clip, but it's just really, you know, it's not really feasible. So I just want to get a triple feed at least with the rocket launcher. It's pretty easy. I'm probably going to accept a lot of these. Okay. The next one is going to be dogs with lethal, lethal, excuse me, lethal grenades, which means you're going to have to use Scavenger Pro and probably Warlord Pro. You're going to you're going to go around, you're going to use either Semtex or Frags and try to get dogs only using grenade kills. 
And you can do it with the tomahawk too. I just don't expect it because I know it's hard. And if you know one person does one with the Semtex and one person does it with the with the tomahawk only or ballistic knife shooting only or something like that, then I'll accept both definitely. That is very impressive if you can do that. And the very last one, it's the one I tried to do but failed. It's dogs with the crossbow. This thing is wow, one of the hardest things I've ever done. If you saw what I just did, I. I I had a big fail there, 10 kills, and then didn't get the last kill. Maybe if I got a knife or something, maybe if I, maybe if I got a claymore. But again, that's against the rules for my show, so that is considered a fail. For you guys, you know, I'm going to recommend you guys play, what is it, Demolition, because it's round base, and then try to extend the round so you can get the most time. That's what I did. That's what I found most effective. But, you know, for me right now, guys, this series is over for my part, at least, and it's time to move on. This was a great series, but I have a lot of good stuff coming up now. I have a lot of tutorials and commentaries and strategies like that already rendered, so I can guarantee that they will be coming out. But that's it, guys. These are my final words for this series. My name is Kilat, and for the last time, I'm out. Peace.